Uh, in Texas this weekend, you might have seen this news. A uh, large group of Democratic state lawmakers staged a walkout to block voter restrictions being pushed by the state's Republicans. And it worked for now. Beto O'Rourke is a former Democratic congressman from Texas. He founded Powered by People, a grassroots electoral action group. He's launching a statewide tour to inform, mobilize Texans around voting rights and this legislation, which may rear its ugly head again. And he joins me um, now. Beto, do you do you feel uh, amongst Texas Democrats, for instance, um, across sort of wide swaths, right? Grassroots folks, everyday voters, the people that you know in political circles, their feeling of the kind of the kind of stakes as articulated by those hundred historians or, or experts in democracy feel about this moment? Absolutely. Um, a few weeks ago, when Senate Bill 7, the anti-voter elections bill that was working its way through the, the Texas House and Senate was being debated, uh, we convened a rally outside the Texas Capitol in Austin. And on 24 hours notice, we were able to get the largest crowd of this year, of this legislative session, standing up for voting rights and speaking out against voter suppression. So the people of Texas, more so than just Democrats, are fired up about this. They understand it is about our democracy and that what you see in Texas, what passed in, in Georgia, in Florida, in Iowa, in Montana, this could spell the end of multiracial democracy that was guaranteed in 1965 by our fellow Texan LBJ when he signed into law the Voting Rights Act. So I think people understand just how precarious and important this moment is, and that it calls upon all of us to do all we can while we still have this window to act. Thanks, by the way, to the Texas State House Democrats who stopped that voter suppression bill, bought us a window of time. We may have about the month of June within which to get the For the People Act passed in the U.S. Senate, and that puts an end to, to what they're trying to do in Texas, Georgia, and about 45 other state legislatures across the country. Yeah, someone who who, who is, you know, served in Congress and knows uh, the way, knows how sort of uh, the sausage gets made a bit there, right? And the, and the compromises and the difficulty of rallying the caucus around and the fact that you pass things out of the House and the Senate has its own arcane and Byzantine procedures. Like, what do you see now as someone who's inside, now back in Texas, not an elected official right now, when you look at this, traffic jam around these sort of crucial pieces of legislation and the filibuster and, and that. I want the Senate Democrats and, and President Biden to take a page from the Texas House Democrats, from Jessica Gonzalez, and Rafael Anchia, and Nicole Collier. They are in the minority, and yet they were able to stop this awful voter suppression bill in Texas. Democrats in the U.S. Senate are in the majority. And, and let's be very clear about what Republicans want to do. Not only do they not want to investigate the January 6th insurrection where five people, including a Capitol Police officer, were killed. They want to roll back the right to vote in almost every single state in this country. And Chris, you've got to understand this. In Texas, that bill was going to allow for the overturning of elections based on just the allegation of fraud. So you can imagine in 2024, uh, a, a Democrat wins the uh, 40 electoral college votes in Texas. Republicans could allege fraud and overturn that election, just as we know they're going to try to do in Georgia and Florida and other states, unless we have the For the People Act. So this is a time for Democrats to act. This is our moment of truth to step up and stand up for this country. And, and we lose this moment at our peril and to the peril of American democracy. I really think it is make or break, do or die for America right now. So we, we've got to have those Senate Democrats and President Biden come through for us. Yeah, I'm glad you made that. There, there's an important distinction here between sort of voter suppression, right? Things like making it harder to drive people to the polls or uh, changing the hours of early voting or, or making people jump through additional hoops or striking people with the voter rolls, all, all bad, right? Th that's one category. But this category that we've seen emerged in, in states, and we saw it in Georgia, taking power away from local election boards or secretaries of state who you who think are, are, are disloyal or creating the mechanisms to actually overturn election outcomes. To me, that's a difference on a whole other plane, and we're seeing that crop up, too. And it's about to be in, enshrined in law in Texas. As, as you know, though, uh, Texas House Democrats won the day on Sunday and, and won that battle, the, the larger war is still being waged. Governor Abbott will call them back into a special session, and there's a very good chance that that provision is not only in the newly proposed voter suppression bill, but there will be others that are that are much worse. I think yeah. we actually saw the best of what we could expect from Republicans 
the Democrats defeated. We need the Senate to pass the For the People Act. I just think it is that simple. That's that's the solution. And Senate Democrats have to step up and get it done.